Hi everyone, my name is David Miller. I'm the managing attorney of our business law department at Amazon Sellers Lawyer. Today, I wanna to speak a little bit about common provisions that maybe are not the most exciting topic to talk about, but indemnification and limitation of liability clauses are extremely important whenever you are entering into a contract with another party. Now, limitation of liability contracts typically relate to direct damages that's just with you and the other party you were signing the contract with so for example if i sell you a widget for ten dollars the direct damages if the widget is not up to par is ten dollars now indemnification is a bit more complicated because typically there is a third party that's involved but many of the bigger companies will try and twist those provisions into their favor for example, say, let's use our widget example. You and I, I sell you a widget for $10. You sell that widget to somebody else and it blows up in their face. Now, that was my fault for selling you the widget. Say I'm the manufacturer, you just resold the widget. Now, why would you indemnify me? You could be on the hook for, it could be a, it could be a million dollars. Now. Indemnity provisions, what that says is that I would be on the hook for that claim. I would indemnify you for any possible legal claims. If you have any questions about indemnification clauses, limitation of liability provisions, or any contractual issues at all, feel free to give us a call, one 877 seller Thank you.